I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. A wide range of medications are in short supply, frustrating Hoosiers and people across the country. The FDA says the medical supply chain is still feeling the effects of the pandemic. Manufacturers can also be slowed down by quality issues and capacity limits. Heather Cope Ward's daughter relies on medication to deal with an insulin disorder, and she says finding it has been difficult. I would go to fill it and the pharmacy wouldn't have any and they wouldn't know when it would be back in stock. So then I'd have to use another pharmacy and another pharmacy. And at one point we had four pharmacies, which is a really big pain. The owner of Blue River Pharmacy in Brownsburg says the shortages are sporadic across many different medications, making it hard to tell what will be in stock for customers. Her advice is to stay in touch with your doctor and contact your pharmacy early to see if you need to get your prescription filled somewhere else. The sounds of safety measures in downtown Indianapolis. DPW crews were out Wednesday installing flexible barriers along bike lanes to reduce illegal parking and protect bikers using the roadway. DPW says the work is a part of Mayor Hoxett's plan to make Indy Road safer for everyone. That plan also includes a partnership with Park Indy to let the company issue violations for parking in protected bike lanes. A proposal is being considered by the City County Council's Public Works Committee. A new attraction in Hendricks County is one step closer to being complete. The town of Plainfield hosted a topping out ceremony Wednesday to place the last steel beam in their performing arts center, which is called Hendricks Live. The new 600 seat facility is on West Main Street and is part of the new Plainfield Civic Plaza. Hendricks Live is scheduled to open in the spring of 2024.